If you guys are looking to buy some of the cheapest tradable Rocket League items, then head to the first link in the description and use code JAKERS at checkout for a discount. If you guys want to win a Titanium White Animus GP or a Titanium White Sentio V17, but that's not it. If you guys want to win a Hellfire Mystery Goal Explosion, then make sure to drop a like on today's video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications while you're there, comment your gamer tag as well as why you want to win down below. Winner will be announced soon and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. What's going on guys? I am Jake and welcome back to another episode of My Best Trades of the Week. A series where together we take a look at some of the best trades that I've done during the week. And this is episode 4 so we've done 3 other episodes already and you can catch those episodes in the description of today's video if you guys want to check those out. We did some awesome trades and so far in this series we've made over 200 keys worth of profit which is absolutely insane and as always if you guys see anything in today's video in my inventory that you guys want to trade for then make sure to leave some offers down in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to look at those and give you guys some offers and replies on those and maybe you guys might be featured in episode 5 of my best trades of the week we have a ton of trades to look at in today's episode and I can't wait to get straight into it but overall hopefully all of these episodes in this series help to build a trading guide of how you guys can buy and sell items to make a ton of profit on Rocket League. So without further ado, why don't we just get straight into this week's best trades. So we're starting off today's video with a trade for the full set of painted Spiralis wheels. Spiralis wheels are in the CC4 crate and this crate has been removed quite recently. This made me think to myself that this might be quite a good investment if I can manage to pick the set up quite cheaply. Now my first offer for this set in the previous trade that I did with this guy was this white painted Sentio as well as some sky blue ARAs. And no, the giveaway isn't fake. I've got two white Sentios. I managed to pull one in a trade up the other day, which you guys might seen on stream. I'll have that in a video coming out soon. I realized that Sky Blue ARAs as an ad with this Sentio is quite of an underpay, so instead I decided to add some Crimson Roulettes. I was happy to do this because the ARAs was slowly going to go up in value and the Roulettes down because Turbo is getting less popular now. If you was to buy these Spiralis wheels separately, it'd probably cost you about 24 keys if you get them quite cheaply. However, if you buy them as a set like I did, all the items are together so it increases the value a little bit. So if you guys are thinking about collecting some sets and then selling them on, make sure to add a little bit to the value that they're all worth because selling as a set does increase the value. I priced this set at about 25 since Spiralis wheels don't sell too well. The white painted Sentio is worth about 11 to 14 keys. It's been slowly going down in value recently. If we take the middle value of that, we'll price the Sentio at about 12 keys. The roulettes are worth about 8 to 10, but they are slowly going down in value, so we'll price those at about 8 for now. So overall, my offer was worth about 20 keys for a set worth about 25, so it's about a 5 key profit, but you'll see me flip this even more in the trade after this. So it actually didn't take too long to get offers for this Spiralis set. About 20 minutes later, I was in a trade with a guy who had a ton of keys. After me asking him what he wanted, he pointed out that he did want the set of Spiralis wheels. As I said in my best trade ever video, if you find someone that wants an item, make sure to make them overpay for it. At first I was asking for about 35 keys for this set, but I realised that even if I get about 30 keys for it, I'm still making about 10 keys worth of profit. He offered me 32, but then put up a question mark, so I knew that he was slightly wanting to go a bit higher, so I asked the 33, and he did it and accepted the offer, which was awesome. Since I had only paid about 20 keys worth of items for this set, I made about 13 keys worth of profit which is a huge flip and turnover for these items. It was honestly a really good investment and a huge trade for me to do. Overall it paid off and I managed to make 13 keys worth of profit which I can then add to making my car look better or I can find some people that might want to quick sell their items or overpay for these keys since keys are a really good item to trade for if you want people to overpay. For example in the last episode of my best trades of the week I managed to pick up certified sky blue ARAs which are worth about three keys for just one key pure and since mystery decals are quite a good thing to trade for as they're easy to sell and loads of people will overpay for them if that item is going up in value such as heatwave which has gone from about 10 to 11 to about 13 to 15 and then 15 to 16 quite recently just before heatwave went as high as about 15 to 16 keys it was priced at about 13 to 14 i managed to pick up this heatwave for eight keys and an add of what i first put up as an animus but then i changed it to the sky blue air race since i only picked them up for one key and i knew that i'd still be able to make profit from this trade the offer of the animus isn't the trade that the guy wanted so instead i put up the air Arrays and the guy accepted this deal which is really awesome for me. I still have this heatwave in my inventory and it's really great for me that it's gone up in price recently. Heatwave was a great investment back when it was 10 to 11 keys. If you guys kept that you would have made at least 6 keys profit by now. However I still think that heatwave will go up to about 18 keys worth of value. The reason for this is because before the turbo and nitro crates did drop 
the, the value of Heatwave was around 20 keys and it started to go down because people overhyped those crates. Eight keys with an add of Sky Blue A-Rays, which I paid one key for, is a nine key deal for Heatwave, which is now worth 15 to 16. So that last trade gave me about seven keys worth of profit. But then now that I have a ton of keys in my inventory, I went on the Rocket League trading discord and asked anybody if they were quick selling any of their items for keys. I managed to find a guy that was selling Cobalt Spiralis wheels which are worth 2 to 3 for just one key. And since I'd made that much profit with the Spiralis set, I decided to go through with it since I thought I could make a ton of profit as they are in the CC4 crate. It was an awesome deal to do and hopefully I can even use these wheels as an ad or get even more profit for another offer that somebody might have for these wheels. And you never know, by episode 5 I might have already sold these wheels and it might be featured as one of my best trades in that episode. The next two trades are some smaller profitable trades which I've done with the same person but in the long run these should manage to make me a small bit of profit. I decided to throw these trades in just to show you guys who might have smaller inventories how you can still make profit and you don't have to have a huge inventory to make profit good profit out of trades. As we know, the Friction Trail is from the new Overdrive crate, and so it sells way better than the Septum wheels. The ZSI is also older than this Neo Thermal, which is from the Nitro crate, and so I'll get in two newer items for two items which are pretty old and don't sell as well as the items I got from this trade. The Friction is half a key to one key, so this price is at about 0.75, so I made about 0.25 keys worth of profit on those septum wheels and about 0.1 keys worth of profit on that ZSR. In the next trade, I'm trading for a hexed mystery decal. The reason for this is because a few of the items in my inventory are quite hard to sell and being able to buy a mystery for these items helps me to get a better deal for the mystery instead of the items that I'm trying to get rid of. Since hexed is easier to sell, I offer this guy for the hexed a purple pair of fidget spinners and a normal pair of fidget spinners. Hexed is worth five to six keys. The purple fidget spinners are three to four, so let's say 3.5 the normal fidget spin is a half a key so this is about a four key deal for a hex mystery decal worth five keys in the next trade you'll see me trade this hexed on for even more profit than what i make in this trade right here it was an awesome deal and the deal i get in the next trade i would never have been able to get with these fidget spinners instead of the hexed the second trade that we're going to jump into with this guy is for my hexed mystery decal. This guy was looking for my hexed and since I said at the start of the episode, people will overpay if they want the item and so he gave me a huge overpay worth of items. I could have maybe got about four or five keys for my hex. It's worth about five to six but th I thought this was an item overpay. Hexed is worth five to six but since it isn't one of the preferred mystery decals, I think it might slowly go down in value just like the labyrinth and biomass have already. So let's take a look at his offer. The Helios Boost Trail is worth about two to three. I know I can get three worth of items or two keys in pure. The Mantis, I know I can easily get one key for or maybe a slight overpay an item. That Neo Thermal is pink and so is worth two to three keys. With an add of the Draco wheels and the turbines, we could probably get about a key from those two. Then also the crates at the end of this offer, we could probably get about half a key's worth of out of that since the overdrive crates are selling for about three to one key right now. And then with the add of the PCC and the turbo crate, which are actually pretty new, we could probably get about half a key's worth of items, such as some septum wheels or maybe some better ads like that. I asked him to add a few crates, which is an awesome some tip for you guys if you guys are already getting an overpay like I was make sure to ask for some ads even if it's just a few crates I got three CCCs as an ad this can easily be seen as a seven key offer for my hexed worth five to six so there is a one to two keys worth of overpay in this next trade, I found somebody looking for specifically PCC imports. I had put up a ton of imports in the trade offer, but he was only looking for the PCC ones, and this was an awesome deal for these imports. At one point, these imports were selling for one key each, since people were looking to trade up to white zombies, but now they're only worth 0.5 each, and so this is 1.5 worth of imports, and I managed to get one key and black spiralis, which are worth one to two. So there is easily a two keys profit. I then took these black spiralis and managed to get an offer of one key and a magic missile, which is priced at about 0.5 to one key. So let's just put it at 0.75. So this is 1.75 to my black spiralis worth one to two keys. Since the black spiralis are priced quite low, I knew that it wasn't going to be one of the favorites. So I think I've done pretty well with this trade. Now the next trade is for some wheels that you guys may not have already heard of. These are the ZT17 wheels, which I actually made a video covering the ZT17 wheels and also the cold fusion boost as soon as they dropped. At the time of me making that video, those items were worth about six keys each and I knew people that were paying about 15 keys for both of them. But since then, these items have gone down to about two keys each. 
and at first this guy was offering me two keys with an add of some crates but I told him that I'd rather more keys and less crates so I ended up doing less crates just two crates with an add of three keys which is a really good deal seeing as these wheels are only worth about one to two at this time. I think they will slowly go down in price even more since the Cold Fusion and ZT7 wheels aren't that great. It's great to find people that are building sets and here is a trade which is an example of why that is true. This guy that I'm training with here was really looking for white vortexes to add to his set. He gave me a really good offer which I couldn't say no to which was some Crimson Octavians and also some Sky Blue version of these wheels too. Since these wheels were both the same I knew that if I found someone that was looking for Octavians as well I could probably sell these to someone that was collecting an Octavian set and since Crimson and Sky Blue were some pretty popular colours with an add of two CC3 crates I think this is a really good deal. While trying to sell my full set of Spiralis wheels I realised that I had a duplicate of orange in my inventory and since I also had the Cobalt painted roulettes I decided to go into the Discord server for Rocket League trading and offer these two items for a slipstream but because this guy accepted the offer so quickly I thought that this was an overpay deal but it really really wasn't these items are really hard to sell now slipstreams worth about 5.5 keys the orange spiralis barely sell for one key and the cobalt roulettes are worth about three so overall if you price these items at what they're actually worth this is about a 3.5 key deal for an item worth 5.5 an instant two keys profit now the next trade you're about to see is actually pretty weird I don't know why this guy really wanted this CC4 crate but offered me a CC2 with an add of really small value items and I didn't want to say no to this deal since it was a big big overpay. These two crates are literally worth exactly the same so I didn't know why this guy added these items but he might have really really wanted this crate. The next trade you're about to see is for a fireworks mystery gold explosion. In my opinion it's about the second best after Hellfire and it actually does sell pretty well on the market right now. All of the gold explosions overall have been going down a ton in value. I don't know why but it's probably because they bought four out all at once. Fireworks was about 12 to 13 but it's gone down to about 10 to 11 now. I managed to pick this fireworks mystery gold explosion up for two painted centio, the grey and the pink. The grey is worth about four and the pink about five, so they're similarly priced. So this is a nine key offer for a fireworks mystery gold explosion, which sells for about 11 since it's quite popular right now. However, this guy didn't want to take this offer, so I did add an Animus, and Animuses and Centios, the regular versions, have been going down a ton in value. But I know that this fireworks would sell really well on the market, since I had seen a load of people overpay for them on the Discord server and also on communities. So I went through with it, and the next trade you're about to see will blow your mind. In the first five minutes of doing that last trade, I instantly had about 10 different offers for this fireworks. I was honestly so impressed because Hellfire is more popular and I honestly didn't get as many offers for Hellfire that quickly as I did with the fireworks. The best offer that I did manage to get was fireworks one to one with a heatwave mystery decal. And since this is literally an instant five to six keys worth of overpay, I had to take this offer. Even if this trade didn't go through, I wasn't too fussed because I also had a ton of other 14 key offers uh, in my backup. But he did go through with it and it was an awesome trade to do and I will go and sell this heatwave on for even more profit. But I wouldn't say that investing in mystery gold explosions is a good thing since they are going down really quickly in price recently. If you are trying to buy a gold explosion to make your gaming experience much better when you're in game and when you score a goal it does really add to the feel of when you're playing. Then try to pick them up quite cheaply because really frequently they do go down in price and so if you wait a couple of days you might be able to pick it up a bit cheaper. We have looked at a ton of awesome trades today but this is another example of how to get people to overpay for your keys. This guy at first was offering three overdrive crates which I can easily get a key back from and also some triplex wheels. At the time I wasn't really looking to trade my keys away and I didn't think this offer was too great but when this guy added another import onto this offer I couldn't say no to it because I could easily get two keys back from this deal. I'm pretty sure this guy was looking to open one crate and since he didn't have any keys in his inventory he overpaid for this key which is a huge tip for you guys. He went through with it and I can easily get one key for those three overdrives and then another key for those two imports separately. Hypernova and a CC3 crate for Takumi and some CC3 Troika wheels. As you guys know car imports do sell a lot better than the boost but the Troika wheels sell much better than this crate and so it was an instant sweet profit. Here we go guys this is the last trade of today's episode. It's been a huge journey but it's honestly been really worth it and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. So there we have it guys, all of the trades we've looked at in today's video have made me a ton of profit and it was all absolutely insane to do and I have so much fun trading with you guys so as I said at the start of the video if you guys want to trade for anything that you've seen in today's video that you guys might want to trade for, it could be any item at all, then make sure to leave some offers down below and I'm happy to take some awesome offers. We now have over 300 keys in our inventory and loads of awesome looking items so if you guys want to trade then make sure to let me know. So so far in this series we've made a ton of profit, in episode 1, 2 and 3 
remade over 200 keys worth of profit. But with this episode combined with that, we've made over 250 keys worth of profit. And hopefully we can earn more and more as this series goes on. So this is unfortunately the end of today's video. We've taken a look at some really awesome trades. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new because we're close to 35,000 subscribers. If you guys are enjoying this series so far, then make sure to let me know and I'll carry on this series. I'm happy to do that. But this is unfortunately the end of today's video. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.